गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड डूइंग मैथमेटिक्स कंफर्टेबली दिस डेज वी आर डूइंग रेक्टिफिकेशन रेक्टिफिकेशन मीन्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग द लेंथ ऑफ द आर्क ऑफ द कर्व यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस्ड वन एग्जाम्पल दैट वॉज द सर्कल हाउ टू फाइंड द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल we people know that the perimeter of the circle is 2 pi r but this is the formula only for the circle but instead of circle if different curve is given then how to calculate that was explained clearly and we use differential calculus as well as integral calculus so that is the application of arc length okay so let us continue one more example with different curve and we try to learn how to sketch the curve because graphing or sketching of the curve is very very important so we begin with the simple example i put the heading tools okay little bit curve sketching as you know that suppose i write y square equals to x yesterday it was explained since this is y square so this must be positive this is the condition yesterday it was explained and the graph was this is the parabola and you know that this is origin and this is the vertex zero comma zero now instead of this suppose i write y square equals to x minus 1 then when x is 0 then it is 0 here when x is 1 then this part is 0 so the vertex is at 1 comma 0 and the parabola is like this remember this complete one that is x minus 1 is greater than 0 so x is greater than equals to 1 this is the reason for this here it is 1 so this you have to understand y square equals to x x must be positive because if it is negative then y square equals to negative it is meaningless because y becomes a imaginary quantity so for real values of y x must be positive or included 0 so this is the well known curve that is the parabola opens towards the positive x axis and it is just like this one if it is x minus 1 then you just put the vertex at 1 if it is 2 then 2 and so on okay let us continue this instead of this one suppose we have number 2 i write that is y square equals to x cubed this is called semi cubical parabola the mean again the whole part that means x cubed must be greater than equals to 0 this implies x is greater than equals to 0 so this is the condition the graph is as x increases y also increases so it is like this remember this and this is the vertex here it is so if it is y square equals to x cubed this part must be positive so definitely x is positive and 
the graph is just like this here the graph is this this is the parabola opens towards the x axis here it is semi cubical parabola so it is this one so it is uh, y square equals to x cube now the question is find the length of the arc of the curve y square equals to x cube from its vertex vertex means this one to the point 1 comma 1 here it is 1 so if x is 1 then y is also 1 this point is 1 comma 1 so this length is to be calculated let us suppose this point is a this is 1 comma 1 so to find o a this is to be calculated okay this is the target something more instead of y square equals to x cubed suppose i write y square equals to x minus 1 whole cube then according to this as usual this must be positive now this is 0 at 1 so this point is shifted at 1 comma 0 so here it is the graph of this will be this is the origin here it is 1 so the graph is like this here it is so this technique you must remember how to find how to sketch the curve if it is y square x equals to x then what will happen y square equals to x minus and then what is the change in the uh, parental graph if it is y square equals to x cube then you see this is the part y square equals to x minus 1 whole cube then you see what will happen so it is just like this type of situation and this must be positive because here it is y square because when it is negative it is meaningless it becomes meaningful this condition holds so here we want to find the length of the arc OA so let us continue We know the formula. Length of the arc. Length of the arc. Okay. A to B under root of 1 plus B by my dx whole square dx for Cartesian curve I have already explained so now the curve is y square equals to x cube therefore 2y dy by dx we differentiate this is dx square so dy by dx is 3x square upon 2y therefore 1 plus by by dx of whole square is 1 plus 9 x to the power 4 upon 4y square so this is the 4y square plus 9x to the power 4 upon 4y square or I think uh, I just substitute the values it will be better so this is 1 plus 9 x to the power 4 4 and y square is x cubed so it is this so it is 1 plus 9 by 4 into x ok therefore according to figure the length of the arc o a is it is the integration with respect to x so we people are interested in the limit x so here you see this is x equals to 0 x is 1 
and here it is x equals to 0. So, limit is from 0 to 1. So, it is 0 to 1 under root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square. So, 1 plus dy by dx whole square, we simplified it and we found it is 1 plus 9x by 4. This is a 1 by 2, 0 to 1. This is a 9x plus 4 to the power half dx. This is 1 by 2. Our integration is 9x plus by 4 to the power half plus 1 is 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 into the coefficient of x. Remember, this is linear, it is 1 upon 9. And limit is from 0 to 1. Okay. Now we can simplify and you can answer this particular question. So, this is the way you remember the graph y square equals to x. Then what is the graph? y square equals to x cubed. Power is odd but is 3. Then we have this type of sketch that is a semi cubical parabola and some other part of this then we find the answer properly so i hope you can simplify this and answer it now we discuss one more example that is also important i just extend this graph now try to observe okay y square equals to x times x minus 1 full square x times x minus 1 whole square here it is x square if you open this and this x is multiplied by x square so it will be x cubed so a little bit like this one not exactly this but little bit i am saying y square equals to x times x minus 1 whole square and you remember as usual this is positive so the whole part must be positive including 0. So what is the condition? x into x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. Now how to solve this? When x is 1 then it is equal to 0. Otherwise, this is always positive. So, everything depends on this x. That means, x must be greater than 0. This is the condition over it. First point you have to remember. Second one, here x is 0, then this part is 0. But here you remember, x is 0, then y is 0. x is 1, then y is again 0 that means here y equals to 0 and x equals to 0 and x equals to 1 when x is greater than 1 since it is always positive then this part is still increasing so the graph is just like this again Yesterday, I explained when y has even power, only y square, then it is symmetrical about x-axis. Jaisa upar hai, raisa karasa niche hai, x-axis ke above or x-axis ke below. So, x0, then y0, x is 1, then y is also 1 x is 1, then y equals to 0, sorry. 
So at two points y becomes 0. So here little bit increases. You just verify the answer. And it goes to just like this. Because y is 0 at two values of x, so definitely it will turn like this. When x is 1, then it will take this type of set because it is increasing. So here it is, this way. Since it is symmetrical about x axis, so the graph is. Just image. This is the complete graph. Here it is. This is symmetrical graph. This is called loop. So the loop is between 0 and 1 because this becomes 0 at x equals to 0 and x equals to 1. Okay. Now, if it is remember the power is 1 1 plus 2 3 here it is 1 plus 2 3 complete one so little bit it is y square equals to x cubed now this is 0 at 0 and at 3 so in the similar pattern I hope you can draw the graph easily 0 1 2 and 3. So the graph is at 0 as well as at 3. So this will be since it is symmetrical so it is like this. This is the loop. So it is between 0 and 1 and this is between this is between 0 and 1 and this is between 0 and 3. If I write 4 then find this one. Second, suppose I write y square equals to x minus uh, 1 and x minus suppose uh, 4, 4 square. Then you see the graph. power is 1. Recall the graph of parabola that was discussed just before this example that y square equals to x and y square equals to x minus 1. Sifting. So here this point and this point both will be sifted. Remember x is 0 here it is 0 comma 0. x is 1 then it becomes 0 so 1 comma 0 it is between 0 and 1. Here it is between here it is between 0 and 3. Now this becomes 0 at 1. This becomes 0 at 4. So the loop is between 1 and 4. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So here this is 1, this is 4. So the loop is between 1. It is like this. Okay. It is this way. So this is 1 and 4 and this is the origin. So you see the pattern of the graph between 0 and 1, this is between 0 and 3 and here it is between 1 and 4 because it becomes 0 at 1, it becomes 0 at 4. So the graph is between 1 and 4. So the loop is between 1 and 4. Sometimes you put the constant, suppose I write 9 or 3, it doesn't matter. The main part is this particular one. So sometimes in the examination, it is asked, find the perimeter of the loop. That means you have to find the length of this complete one. So it is the integration between 0 and 1. This is the integration between 0 and 3. And this is the integration between 1 and 4. So let us solve what question on it. Okay. Find 
the perimeter parima on the loop of the curve y square equals to x times x minus 1 whole square okay so i hope you have understood if the question is given then you can find the answer So y square equals to x times x minus 1 whole square. So this is the graph of this one. We want to find the length of this particular loop. So remember this is symmetrical figure. And the loop is between 0 to 1. So we first find this length and we double this one. Okay. So let us see. Curl is y square equals to x times x minus 1 whole square on differentiating with respect to x now you can find the answer easily is 2y dy by dx equals to x times 2 times of x minus 1 plus x minus 1 whole square this is uh, x minus 1 that is 2x plus x minus 1 this is x minus 1 and it is dx minus 1. You can see this. Okay. So, therefore, b bar by dx is x minus 1, dx minus 1 upon or d y by dx whole square equals to x minus 1 2y dy by dx x as it is differentiation of this 2 times of x minus 1 plus x minus 1 whole square differentiation of x is 1 uh, the common part is x minus 1 so you have 2x is left plus x minus 1 it is 3x minus 1 x minus 1 so x minus 1 3x minus 1 2y and this is a uh, minus 1 whole square upon 4 y square. This is x minus 1 whole square 3x minus 1 whole square upon 4. y square is x times x minus 1 whole square. So this part is cancelled out. So what is left? Therefore 1 plus d by dx whole square equals to 1 plus this is 3x minus 1 whole square upon 4x. Okay. Mm, yes. So this is 4x plus 9y square uh, minus 6x plus 1 upon 4x. Now this is the part of integration. minus 2x plus 1 upon 4x. Therefore, according to figure, perimeter of the loop equals to 2 times doubled integration is from 0 to 1 root 1 plus d by dx whole square so it is yes. one 
4x dx. Now, this is the task for you how to solve this integration. This you have learned how to find the answer of this particular one. So, if we have this type of situation, this type of curve, then we simplify this and we find the answer just like this and we calculate it. Okay, so I hope you have understood how to find the length of the loop of this curve. To find the answer, you must know the sketching of this particular curve. Here this one and this is called the loop, it is between 0 and 1. And according to this one, the perimeter means length of the boundary. So here it is twice 0 to 1. This we have calculated that is 1 plus dy by dx the whole square. And we found the answer this one. And this is the homework for you to integrate this one. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.